motive behind his shooting to death may still be a subject of investigation. But not even the unfortunate and nonsensical social media jokes will stop the public from eulogizing the fallen minister. Colonel retired Charles Engola met his unfortunate death from one of his bodyguards, Private Sabiti Wilson. That while we mourn the loss of our brother, Honore Bengora, others celebrated his demise through jokes on social media. I condemn this practice because it is inhuman and immoral. The humble public servant had served diligently in the capacities of army officer and political leader. His humility and generosity had not been in the public domain until his ill-fated death. So people used not to cook with firewood during evenings. So the name Machuduogo was an appreciation, an expression of rewarding him with a name that he worked to make people return back home. To the extent that his counterpart from the neighboring Republic of Kenya acknowledged his commitment to service. To me, he was senior to me in age, in experience at work, and I was ready to learn from him. It's very unfortunate. We talked, we bonded. I even asked him this Okelo name, we have, we have it in Kenya. So it's the Luo of Uganda, the same as the Luo of Kenya. It is in this spirit that Minister Betty Amongi has an appeal to the community of Lango in agreement with the children to the deceased. We cannot therefore condemn the people of his tribe or clan for a crime he committed while on state duty. I appeal to you, the people of Lango, that we can only call upon government to support the family, considering that the death of their breadwinner and our leader was not expected and that he died in the cause of performing state duty. Whenever someone wrongs you, that's a debt for God to handle. Just forgive. We acknowledge that the greater part of the family is doing something else to seek justice for him. But as the children of the late, we take this opportunity to forgive private sabiti. May his family find rest. The killer soldier may be forgiven, but is this enough? This is what other ministers and leaders say. We need to be more vigilant on the people who go to guard the senior officials. And also at the time of recruitment, people are making mistakes, thinking that Aname is a place where you can go and rehabilitate in disciplinary rules. The family raised are able to forgive the killer who killed their father. And uh, that shows the kind of heart that is bringing up. He's brought up the heart, children and the family with the heart uh, of God. Others reason that his death has a lot for other leaders to learn from. Whatever offices we are in as leaders, we should do, take responsibility of the actions of ourselves, but also the people we lead. The regret expressed by His Excellency Yori Kaguta Seven, the Commander-in-Chief to the family of Honorable Patrick Charles Engola, that regret is the point that we must be humble in our service, whatever offices we hold. The speaking as a believer, forgiveness is okay. Uh, forgiveness without conditions is a, a Christian expectation of all believers. Colonel retired Charles Engola, who was member of parliament for Oyam North County, 
will be laid to rest on Saturday, 13th May, 2023. Oh,